Hello guys, this is Vanshika from Language Academy. Hi, this is Bhumika from Language Academy. Today we are going to discuss about summarized spoken text, which is the first task in your listening module. Now this task is of about 10 minutes, which includes the timing of the audio itself. Now in this task, uh, you will listen to an audio and you will take down notes. Um, the task gives marks to listening as well as writing. Uh, yes, so uh, what people make mistakes is they take single keywords. So today we are going to discuss on what sort of keywords you need to take uh, while listening to the lecture. So let's start. One of the problems with primary teaching is that you are expected to be a jack of all trades. As you are aware, this is quite unrealistic. Very few people are equally good at music and English and science and art and maths and PE. Increasingly, Specialist teachers are being employed in primary schools. The argument against moving completely in this direction is the pastoral needs of younger students. The relationship a student develops with a single teacher can be valuable. The routine of moving from room to room, or indeed of teaching style, can be problematic for younger students. The ideal situation is a school where teachers' special interests and passions can be complemented by the skills of their colleagues. Partial use of special teachers can be beneficial. As a teacher, if you love teaching maths, then teach it. If art is your thing, go for it. Children will be motivated by teachers who are passionate about what they are doing. This doesn't negate the need for primary teachers to be solid in a range of areas, but it does try to acknowledge the simple fact that no one is good at everything. Okay, so we have taken down certain points. One on this side are the good keywords and on this side are the bad keywords. Mm, yes, so the good keywords are the keywords which has a complete meaning. So as you can see here, primary teaching, quite unrealistic things, music, English, science and maths. Okay, you cannot just write aware. That's, yes. That doesn't make any sense on its own. It is not complete. Yeah. So it is not a very good keyword to write in your summarized spoken text. Yes. So now you can see that younger students and teaching style. So how you need to take keywords is you won't be able to write the full words, right? So you should write the short forms. And so note making is very important part of summarized spoken text. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, make sure that whatever keywords that you're writing makes complete sense. It goes in the sentence and are, um, you know, part of the audio itself. Do not write anything on your own. Do not just paraphrase any of the point from the audio and write it in your own words. Just follow the audio. Keep on writing the keywords. Do not think what is, you know, good, what is bad. Just keep on writing. And then after that, you can find out that what are the good keywords that you need to write down in your summary. Okay, and what people make mistakes is that they just write down seven or eight keywords and then they just ignore the lecture. What I'll suggest is take down everything while listening to the lecture and then you can choose on uh, which word you need to give priority to. Okay, yeah. All good. Thank you. Thank you so much.